Hey, what's up Stripe Nation? Blake Alberts here with B&B Lawn Care. Finally have my new mic, I'm excited about it. But today, we're starting iterations. I have my buddy Jeremy's, so shout out to Keepers Lawn Care. Let me borrow his <coughs> Xmark aerator. And it's got this spreader on it, which is really, really sweet. I'll show it to you. It's got like a little power on here and then you can control the chute. So, dude, it's gonna make spreading so much faster. I, I've been using my little push spreaders for years. So shout out to him for letting me use this. A lot of you guys are probably gonna ask about the Stinger aerator. I still have it. <clears throat> Everything's perfect with it. It does, I mean, this is gonna go pretty quick, but right now I think I have like a loose belt on it or something. For some reason when I push I don't remember if it was going left or right, but one is like slipping. I don't know what's going on. So uh, I'm using this until I can get it figured out. I think I'm gonna order uh, one of the belts from their website and hopefully figure out what's going on. But we'll probably be using the X mark for like the next week or two with aerations um, until we get that figured out. So not perfect timing. I should have done it, you know, but I'm busy, man. I got. I got two babies and uh, we're we're running hot with lawn care. So um, this guy, I couldn't ask for a yard to be set up better. I, it was scheduled last week. He has it. He has it mowed perfectly. It looks beautiful. It's a little bit shorter. He's marked all of the sprinkler heads or any pop up drains or anything that I might hit. Literally can't ask for something better than this. This is exactly what I want when I pull up to a yard. Um, because now I can just go right to it, aerate, put the seed down, blow off the driveway, the sidewalks, the patio, uh, when I'm done seeding and I will shoot him a message, he'll send me the payment and we're on our way and I don't have to do any ever extra work. I don't have to worry about hitting the sprinkler heads because he's already marked them. So this is literally perfect. Can't ask for anything better, but I know a lot of you guys are going to, uh, want to see the aerator. So it looks like this is a 125 pound capacity Lesco spreader. And I think he just had this made, like somebody made this for him. Basically it goes into the hitch on the aerator and it's just like metal welded and it holds there. And then shout out to Coleman equipment. But uh, yeah, so you have your open and closed right here. So it can, dude, you can put uh, I'll do it a bag of seed at a time so that way we can measure it correctly But it'll hold all of the seed open this and then you have a power switch ready That spins That when you turn it so super cool design and uh, This is the just the foot pedal man. Just click the foot pedal And you're off the air rating. So let's get this done. That thing's pretty sweet. I've already done two today. We had a ton of rain last night, so we're pulling really good plugs. We've needed rain really bad. It's really dry here in Kansas City. Um, so I think I started at like 11, got two done, got three more to go. And uh, I don't know, man, it's aeration season, my favorite season. It feels like fall today. Fall is my favorite time of year. And uh, dude, everything, everything's good besides the, the stinger being kind of broken down right now. Um, Life's good, man. We're sleep training the babies. Let's get to work. We'll talk all about that when we're done.
right, all finished up with that lawn. Went perfect, aerate, overseed. That cedar is awesome. That aerator's awesome. That whole setup is literally sweet. I can't believe I don't see more of those around. Um, like it's perfect. Like I pretty much all I had to do is pour the bag of seed in and blow off. But other than that, I was just standing on the aerator. So it was pretty sweet. Um, I didn't film <laughs> blowing off because uh, those kids that were jumping in front of the camera, it was funny. It was hilarious. Um, they had like a little camera and they were taking pictures of me the whole hour I was there. They were like hiding around the corner, like taking pictures. Super hilarious. Um, yeah, man, I think it's super cool. I was like doing poses. I was like doing my thumbs up and smiling. Um, but that's super awesome. And, uh, you know, those, that's the next generation of lawn care. Like, I know it's that sounds crazy to the world, but like we've seen it a million times here where, um, you know, younger guys start watching, younger guys and girls start watching videos and, and they just get inspired. I got the bug um, from seeing real life lawn care companies and then I really got hooked when I saw, you know, guys doing it on YouTube. So super cool. They were running around taking pictures, super awesome. This yard, same thing. You know, the, the customer, we, we planned it, we scheduled it for today. Um, it's mowed, really short, which is awesome. It, everything's marked, ready to go. Um, he's gonna seed himself, but um, I'll be air rate in and out of here in probably like 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna be double air rating these. Um, the thing about that I love about aeration is I truly and bringing a great value to people. Um, with lawn mowing, I'm still bringing a great value to people, but you know, most people have a lawn mower and mostly A, we're making the yards look great, but B, you know, they don't have to go out and mow, which isn't fun, so we're just kind of, you know, saving them time and effort and energy, which is great. But with aeration, it's a, the, the machines are so expensive and the the really only thing that's available for a customer is like going and renting a aerator which you know most some people don't have trucks some people don't want to go pick it up and and break their back lifting it in and out of the truck bed and maybe just you know get injured or or worn out or sore or you know tear a muscle or whatever doing those old-fashioned type aerators and you're still only gonna save like a couple bucks like it's literally just a greater value to have a professional lawn care company do it um, which is crazy there's not a lot of services that and and this machine's just plain gonna pull a better plug it's just gonna do more for the lawn um, so the, 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 that's what I love about aeration is I can actually bring a crazy amount of value to a customer for literally almost the exact same price they can rent something maybe a little bit more but you're not gonna have to waste an afternoon doing that like I can be in and out of here in 30 minutes and for you to rent this for a customer to rent this machine a machine like this you still have to have a truck you still have to have a trailer to do it and it's gonna cost you about 250 bucks to rent it. So literally, it's almost this service is almost hard, like like they can't really get a better deal anywhere, you know. So that's why it's a crazy good value to people, and I really enjoy doing it. And people really enjoy that I do it. And any service that everybody can walk away just feeling like they got a ton of value is amazing feeling like I'm not rip like I, I can't be ripping people off when they can barely go rent one and spend an afternoon doing it for the exact not exact but almost the same exact price so I don't know that's cool and if they don't have a truck if you were to go rent a truck and the aerator yeah for sure I can just do it cheaper and uh, I don't know I love I love being bringing people value I love that everybody can walk away with a smile, a handshake, and feel great about everything that just happened. And next year, they're gonna have a more beautiful lawn, and that's just killer to me. I just think that's super awesome. So, all right, let's get to work. 
All right, that's the end of the day. I didn't film the last yard. I was talking with the customer. It started to rain a little bit, so I just wanted to get done. Took the aerator back, the trailer back. Look at the garage right now. It's an abs I had this place organized, but as you can see, we got high chairs set up for the kids. They're growing quick. We're doing uh, sleep training right now, which is just, it's so tiring. It's We're staying up all night, rubbing their back, patting their back, trying to get them to sleep in their cribs, and we're trying to get them to sleep through the night. So uh, that's pretty much it, man. So aerations are going good. They're starting up now. I just... Uh, Started wearing these Cujo X1 landscape boots. Dude, they're sweet. They're super comfortable. I needed some ankle support. I was like just having some problems with uh, my ankles, I guess. <laughs> and, and all the way up to my back. Like it all just seems together. What's up, Natalie? Are you eating are you eating beef jerky? Natalie never liked beef jerky well, until like we the found smell this. Of it, What's but it? I've never tasted it. What are it? they? Jacklings? A beefsteak strip. We made some um, also in the Traeger, which was pretty good. We still have to perfect it a little bit. Those are super expensive. They're like seven bucks for seven bucks four. For oh, for six of them? No, five. Five of them. So they're super expensive, but they're really good. Um, but that's pretty much it, Natalie. How's sleep training going? Are they asleep in their beds? That's pretty good. They're not in their sleep sacks, but they're in their bed. That's awesome. So it's tough we're getting used to it we're not getting used to it but we're getting better the kids are getting better at it um, the first night was terrible second night was terrible third night was even worse the fourth night was pretty good they they woke up a few times but really we got we both got to sleep which was awesome um, but that's a big thing and I just oh I forgot to say the boots what was I having a problem with Natalie my my back ankles. my ankles but it was also back and they said it was all related to like you need support on your ankles and i was like why do people wear boots landscaping and mowing did those help today? yeah they did and i finally realized why it's that ankle support so uh use code bb10 on kujoyardware.com you can click the link down below and get 10 percent off of them they're pretty cool they're they're pretty pricey in the boot world though they're not they're not bad especially with the 10 percent off I just always compare it to like the shoes. We, we've we worn the Cujo shoes forever. Uh, I've worn the Cujo shoes forever. Why do we, why is it always we? I think, oh, check, sweet. When you're talking about a, like your company, you always say we, but I meant I have worn them for years and years and years, but these things held up and it was super wet, so it worked out perfectly. But that's it guys, I appreciate all the support. Natalie, we've had a killer mom. Oh yeah. Like just on YouTube, like the numbers are good. Like I made a whole video about it, but I just want to really express my, my, uh, I just want to say thank you, man. I appreciate it. It helps my family. Like, I don't know, like every little bit helps, right? Like right. the AdSense, every time you guys save money and use the code, it helps us. It helps my family. So I appreciate it. That's it. Natalie, you finally get like a got little couple minutes off. It's great. Hello. That's the great thing about sleep training and naps and everything, but that's it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Bye.